Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Julia. I'm still a little sick, so if my voice sounds weird, that's why. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys me making my 2020 vision board. I saw a bunch of people do videos like this, um, specifically uh, Nikki DiMartino. She posted a video like this and really inspired me to make one of these. So pretty much a vision board is just anything that you want to accomplish and that you want to bring into your life and a lot of these things that I'm gonna put on my vision board are like kind of like big goals even though I might not accomplish them in 2020 I could possibly accomplish them in the future so I'm just putting them on there because you know you gotta dream big you gotta shoot for the what's that saying how does it go it's like you gotta shoot for the moon and if you fail you'll land among the stars you know so, <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be doing. And then I'm also going to be showing you guys my 2020 bullet journal, which I'm really excited about. Last year, I really wanted to do bullet journaling and I started a little bit in like September. I never really um, got into it. So for 2020, I really want to be consistent with it. I'm going to be using my bullet journal to like plan out my YouTube stuff because I have a separate planner for like my schoolwork and like my everyday life. So yeah, so I guess I'll just show you guys my bullet journal. So here here she is. Um, I put a bunch of stickers on the front already. They're mostly from Pura Vida, but I have one Glossier one on there. But it's just this white bullet journal. It's from the brand Exceed, I think. I got it from Walmart for like $5. Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a voiceover to show you the inside of my bullet journal. So this is like the intro page. I just wrote out all the months and stuff and decorated it. Kind of cute. Um, that's the page that I'm going to do my vision board on. That and this is my monthly spread for all my video ideas. I have them on post-it notes so I can move them around. I got that idea from Haley Fam. Then this I just wrote down some habits and goals and tried to be cute with it. It didn't turn out that cute but it's fine. And then this is my January video brainstorm. I just wrote down some video ideas and what I needed for those videos. Then this is my habit tracker so I just wrote down some things that I want to do consistently and I just do a star on the days that I do it. So yeah that's pretty much everything that I have in my bullet journal so far. So I'm going to be making my vision board inside my bullet journal. I saved a blank page right here for it, but I had to tape the spine because I ripped pages out that I didn't like, so it got messed up. So I put washi tape over the spine. So I guess let's just get into making our vision board. So I already printed out and cut out all the pictures that I want to put on my vision board. I need some water. And as I go through each picture, I'm going to like explain why I'm putting it on my vision board. And yeah, I just really put it out into the universe. Okay, so I don't know where to start. So I guess we can start with this. So the first thing I'm going to be putting on my vision board is this picture of a white Jeep Wrangler on a beach. So you might be like confused as to why I'm putting this on there. It is my dream car. I have always wanted one. What? I'm making a video. I love that color. It's beautiful. What? <laughs> I, I don't know what that was, but okay. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna be putting this picture on there because I, I'm just obsessed with this car and in 2020, I really just want to have some Jeep Wrangler in my life. I don't care if that means renting one for like an hour to drive. You never know. Maybe I could buy one. Maybe my YouTube channel could take off and I could buy a white Jeep Wrangler. I don't know. Okay, so the next three pictures kind of go hand in hand together. This first one I have is a picture of like a road. It's like mountainous scenery and it's someone driving and it looks like summer and I don't know. It just looks really pretty. So I'm putting this on here because in 2020, I want to go on more adventures and I want to go on a road trip with my friends possibly and I want to drive maybe into like some mountainous territory, go like hiking and stuff, be more outdoorsy because I mostly sit in my room, but I really want to get out there in 2020 and like explore. So I'm putting this one on there and then I'm putting this picture because it's a cute sunset and it's on a plane window. Even though I might not fly on a plane in 2020, I just want to travel as much as I possibly can and then just this picture because it's just cute and some vans 
somebody's feet that's kind of weird now that i think about it that i'm putting someone's feet on my vision board but it's just in a car and it's like road trip vibes i like really want rainbow socks like that so so maybe i'm trying to will some socks like this into my life so the next picture i'm putting on my vision board is of alicia marie and oh my gosh guys i love alicia she is one of my idols i've been watching her since I was in like sixth grade and I'm in 12th grade now so like six years I've been watching her and um, I just really think she's a big inspiration for YouTube and everything. Her lifestyle is just really something I want to work toward. She works out pretty much every day. She is a really big fitness inspiration for me and she has a really cute style and obviously she's like a big YouTuber and that's something that I would love to do. So the next thing I'm putting on my vision board is this picture of a Polaroid camera on a beach. This picture represents me wanting to take more pictures, get more into photography. I have my Polaroid camera sitting right there and I have my Polaroid wall started. I want to fill up that whole wall and I want to take more pictures for my Instagram. So the next three pictures I'm putting on my vision board are quotes. The first one says, I no longer force things. What flows flows. What crashes crashes. I only have space and energy for the things that are meant for me. So I really resonate with this quote. Um, in 2020, I really don't want to force things. I don't want to hold myself to that standard. I just really want to let go of things from 2019 that aren't good for me. You know, the quote explains it well enough. I don't need to explain it, but yeah. And the next quote says, be enough for yourself first. The rest of the world can wait. I really like this quote because I really want to learn how to accept myself more and love myself more. I just really want to work on myself for me and not for anyone else. And then the last quote I'm putting on is keep taking time for yourself until you're you again. And this one is also about self-love and taking time for yourself and doing things that make you happy and not anyone else. So I really like that quote. So the next two things kind of go hand in hand with that. So these pictures represent self-care. So this one is just of some skincare products and this one is of a luxurious bath. I want to take more baths and I want to take more time for myself. Maybe one day I can have a bath as luxurious as this. <laughs> I don't know but. So then the next picture I'm putting on my vision board is of Haley Pham. So Haley is another big inspiration for me. She's a young influencer that I really look up to and she was really trying to find herself in 2019 and she went through a lot of phases where she would post content that she wasn't happy with and at the end of 2019 she kind of found herself and started posting what she wanted. So that's what I want to work toward. Um, I want to be able to post whatever content I want and do what makes me happy. And also I really like her style and she is a full-time YouTuber and that's what I'm working toward being. Then the next thing I'm putting on my vision board is this picture of a Hydro Flask and I'm putting this on there because I want to drink more water and live a healthier lifestyle um, for the new year. So. so then the next thing I'm putting on is this picture of Hawaii. Um, I don't know what to say about this. Pretty much for like my whole life I've wanted to go to Hawaii. I don't know. I just think it's really beautiful and my grandparents went there when I was little and they talked about it to me and they said how great it was and I don't know I just, I've just always wanted to go to Hawaii so maybe in 2020 I'll be able to go to Hawaii I don't know but hopefully sometime in the future so the next picture kind of goes along with that um it's this picture of people with surfboards in the ocean very blue water so I when I went to Puerto Rico this summer I took surf lessons and I really liked it and it was one of, it's one of my goals to learn how to surf. I just really think it's fun. I don't know, I've just always wanted to learn how to surf. So that kind of goes along with Hawaii. Maybe I could take surf lessons in Hawaii. So that's why I'm putting this on there. So then the next thing I'm putting on my vision board is this picture that I photoshopped of my YouTube having 1,000 subscribers. I know, I'm so good at Photoshop, look at that. So right now I have 552 subscribers. It's one of my biggest goals and dreams. 
dreams to grow my YouTube channel and become successful. And I'm really proud of myself because in 2019, I posted consistently and I really started to grow my channel and become serious with YouTube. I started the year off with less than 100 subscribers and I ended with around 530. So I think that's some pretty good growth. Really proud of myself for doing that, but I also want to grow more. And this isn't even that big of a number to put on there. It's attainable and it's something that I think I can reach in this new year. So that's why I'm putting this on there. So then the next picture I'm putting on there is just of this random girl with blonde hair. <laughs> As you can see, I have long brown curly hair and I kind of always have. So in 2020, I kind of want to have some sort of hair change. I really have been wanting to cut it short recently. I don't know. I think it would be cute. Um, or maybe I'll dye it blonde. I've had urges to dye it blonde. I just think that looks really pretty. Comment down below if you think I should. I don't know. But you know, hair grows back and I can always dye it back to brown and then grow it out if I want to. I need to learn how to let go of things and really, I don't know. So I want to change my hair. <laughs> so then the next thing I'm putting on is this picture of a music festival with like some smoke. I don't know, it looks like a bomb time. <sighs> I'm gonna sound really basic, but it's been my dream to go to Coachella ever since I was in like sixth grade. I don't know why, I just love the fashion I love everything about it. It just seems like a really fun atmosphere. Not like the drug part of it, but I don't know. Just the music and like everyone gathering to appreciate music and also the art that's there. Um, and last year, oh my god, you guys don't even know. I wanted to go to Coachella so bad. The 1975 played which is one of my favorite bands. Um, Still Woozy is the artist of my intro song. I literally love him so much. I wanted to go to Coachella so bad, but I couldn't obviously because I don't have enough money for that. And also I live in New York and not California. Yeah, but this isn't, I don't know what music festival or concert this is, but I'm putting this on there because I want to go to more concerts and I want to possibly attend a music festival, maybe not even Coachella, just a music festival. But I already know that I'm going to see Harry Styles in July, so I'm really excited about that. But yeah, I just want to go to more concerts and live it up. So the last picture that I'm putting on my vision board is of Ava Jules. So I love her. She's another YouTuber that I really look up to and she really is all about spreading positivity and she's a really positive person and she lives in Hawaii so and she also surfs and she does yoga and she goes cycling and lives a healthy lifestyle and I don't know I just really love her and the way she lives her life and um I really like her YouTube channel. I love watching her videos. So that's why I'm putting her on there. So yes, that is everything that I'm putting on my vision board. My voice is like shot now. I can't talk anymore. I hope I didn't miss anything that I wanted to talk about, but sorry, my camera cut off, but I hope this inspires you guys to make your own 2020 vision board and to dream big and to not let anyone tell you that you can't. So with that, I'm gonna go and I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me and um, here's to a good year. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Like